In this system, from pilot one upwards, we're trying to remove operator error at the presetter side, and now we can talk to customers and we can remove the possibility of operator error when they type in that interface in, into the machine tool. I'm here at Carl Fullen in Derby with Andy. We're here at the Innovation Center. We're going to be talking about Zola ZID code, is that right? Yep, that's right. Zola ID, uh, ZID for, for short. Uh, it's a system that we've developed uh, because there is, you know, we get good measurements from our presetter, but we're always asked how we get those measurements from the presetter into the machine tool. Now, historically, we've always done it where you can write that down or just print a standard label, but we've seen that in this system, from pilot one upwards, we're trying to remove operator error at the presetter side, and now we can talk to customers and we can remove the possibility of operator error when they type in that interface in, into the machine tool. So ZID code eliminates all that. We store everything from length, diameter, tip radius, tool life, uh, and we store that onto a QR code, which is easily printed off, and we have our ZID code box assigned to each machine tool in the factory. It doesn't matter what control you've got, we can configure it, and those just scan that data in and it automatically enters into your offsets. Okay, so we're going to see that a little bit later, but first of all, we've got a Zola presetter here. We've just measured a boring bar. Yep. What happens after you've measured the boring bar? Okay, so we've measured our boring bar and we can see that it's green, so we're in tolerance. Brilliant. If it was out of tolerance, <laughs> no label could be printed. So we're going to stop any out of tolerance tools entering production, which is very, very important. So we've got our green light, so we're all happy. Let's go. We print our label. As you can see, we've got our QR code label printed. And on this data here now, we have length, diameter, tip radius, uh, you name it. We have a clip that we can stick it onto. This clips onto your tool. Straight onto the flange. Yep, so we're not impacting on anything on the tool. Nope. And we wander across to the machine tool and we can put that in. So let's imagine we've done 40 of those. They've got all in our tool trolleys. We've got 40 of these QR codes. Yep. We don't have to type in a number. No. Let's go and find out how we don't have to type in a number. Let's go check it out on the machine. Okay. Okay, so Andy, we're here at the machine. Now, this isn't a machine. What, what are we looking at here? Yeah, so unfortunately, we don't have a machine tool in our innovation center in Derby. But what we do have is a simulator. So we're running Siemens at the moment, but ZID code will work on any controller. Uh, we format a box. This is our ZID code unit. This will be plugged into your machine tool controller. Uh, we've got our tool that we've just measured with our QR code label. So on your machine tool, you would select which offset you wanted to store that so tool So we'll put in. it in tool 18 right now yeah, on the we're Siemens. we're going to put it into tool 18. So we just click on 18 to make sure we're active. And then we scan our QR code label that we just printed off. Ah, and the ZIG code machine is manipulating the Siemens control, yep. so putting in end mill, uh, cutting types, uh, tool life, length, diameter. Yep. It's putting in so everything. Tool type all the measurements that we've just taken, and the maximum tool life as well, without the operator influence. So there's no typo errors, no possibility of typing the wrong information in. Brilliant, so we've, we've eliminated operator error, and you can just go and scan one, scan another, scan the next. Yeah, correct. If you had a big tool trolley with 40 of them. Yeah, put them into your magazine and you're up and running. Brilliant, easy, yeah. So if you're, in, if you're worried about operator error, or trying to eliminate operator error, or you've got a lot of tools to get into your machine, and you don't want to stop a long running process with your DNC program, your post processes, you need to check out ZidCode from Zola. It's, it's really, really incredible. Yeah, quick and easy.